Hi, my name is Reverend Patrick J. Walker. I serve as a senior pastor of the New Macedonia Baptist Church here in uh, southeast Washington, D.C. Uh, we've invited the press and the media and those who would share uh, with, uh, with us in terms of concern about what's going on. Uh, in terms of the uh, present uh, administration, the 50th administration, and the uh, Council of the District of Columbia, led by Chairman Gray. Uh, in the midst of all of this political debate and discussion around various issues, one issue that is uh, seemingly not uh, garnering enough attention is the fact that many of our churches and nonprofits are being uh, really um, disrespected, oftentimes dis, uh, disvalued, uh, lack of value, lack of respect um, as it relates to uh, their involvement and outreach into the community. And I stand in front of one example. Um, here at 4135 Alabama Avenue uh, in the southeast quarter of the city, just a few steps from our congregation, uh, is a building that we acquired um, about two years ago. Uh, the property was uh, burnt out, it was uh, vacant, it was blighted, uh, in, uh, certainly in disrepair, uh, not only outside but also inside. Uh, the ministries of the New Macedonia Church uh, stepped outside of our four walls, uh, acquired this property, purchasing it outright, and um, again, um, uh, we, we purchased the building because of its uh, blight to the community. Um, obviously, purchasing such property in this community is a great expense to the ministry of the New Macedonia Church. And so, as we put out funds to acquire the property, then there has to be some time that we need to raise additional funds in order to renovate it. And now we're in this proverbial catch-22. Uh, the city is taxing us at, uh, at a rate of $10 per $100 of the assessed value. That's a 10% tax. We received a tax bill of $150,000 for one tax year. $150,000 because this property is vacant. Uh, the problem that I have, obviously, with the tax is an unfair tax burden on the citizens of, uh, of certainly of those who are citizens uh, of the District of Columbia, particularly those who are members of our church, unfair tax burden on our congregation, but not just our church, but other nonprofit organizations who try to use facilities that oftentimes blighted, oftentimes eyesore, uh, attract uh, various and sundry activities that are negative to the community. We reach out into the community and try to transform those buildings into positive things. And many churches across the city, unfortunately, disproportionately in Ward 7 and 8, uh, churches who acquire property, and now the city is taxing us at a rate of 10%. It's absolutely um, ridiculous. It's unfair. But it goes to say how this administration and the city council is simply unfair and unwelcomingly and unwelcome to churches. Um, not, this is not a church-friendly town or environment. And so... Um, I'm trying to garner attention not just for the, the, the situation that the New Macedonia Baptist Church finds itself in with this $150,000 tax bill, um, but also other congregations, other nonprofit organizations that are trying to do something positive in the community, but yet and still this administration and the council is catering only to big developers and those who are able to bring to the city coffers large uh, 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 tax uh, expense or tax base and really not thinking about uh, the those who historically have been in this city when times were not as well as they are, are today. Um, historically, anyone who looks at Shaw redevelopment, looks across the city, can see where the African American church in particular has given great uh, deal of resources, their own personal resources, in partnering with the city uh, to make Washington, D.C. a better place for all of its citizens. And so I want to give some attention to this. I think it's unfair tax, uh, certainly at uh, $10 per $100. Uh, uh, assessed value, uh, a tax bill of $150,000 per year. In about three years, we will pay the city more than we pay for this building. And with that kind of burden, there's no way in the world we can move forward with renovating and begin to provide services uh, for this community. Another irony to this entire thing is until we pay that bill, we can't even get permits to begin the, the, the renovation. We can't get uh, tags for our vehicles. We can't get a license for our elevator inspection. 
we are literally uh, without a clean hand certificate in the District of Columbia, and essentially our services are crippled. I believe personally that this is just another ploy and strategy to displace the African American congregations that have been in this city to push us out into the suburbs where our voice will certainly not be held, heard and the impact uh, of the African American church will not be felt in our communities. Oh my God. Can you show us?